Wondering about the most efficient way of building your three-dimensional boat from your two-dimensional sheet metal? Use the MaxSurf Modeler Plate Development Tools to achieve this in a simple and effective workflow. There are two ways to define a plate in MaxSurf Modeler. The first way is to add a plate on an entire surface. Choose Plate, Add Surface Plate, and select the surface. Click OK. The Plate Properties dialog will appear. We will use the default settings. Next, we need to calculate the plate. To view the developed plate, go to Window, Part Drawing, and select the plate from the drop-down menu. In the top left-hand corner, there is some simple information about the plate development. To display the strain required for plate forming, go to Display Plate Strain and choose from the pop-up menu. The second way is to add a plate on part of a surface. Show only the surface that we are working with. Turn on the contours that we want to use to define the plate edges. We need to use four contours that define the region. Select them holding the shift key down in the following order. Aft, forward, outside and inside, or top and bottom. Choose plate and add plate. Again, calculate the plate. Select the plate that we just created and the information on the development will be displayed. To export this information to a DXF file, choose File, Export, DXF, and IGES. The file may then be used to create cut paths for our NC machine. This feature is described in greater detail in the MaxSurf Modeler Manual. Find out more by visiting us at www.bentley.com.